I hope you will accept this video response brother. This morning I was an atheist but after hearing and watching your video atheism is not a position that I can maintain one day longer. I think most of my subscribers are atheists and I, I want them to hear how you converted me to Islam. My respected brothers and sisters, the topic for my today's talk will be punishment in the grave and how will the will be punished in the grave and what will happen to the pious persons in the grave who lived according to the Islamic monotheism. Okay, the first thing I would like to talk about over here is that of course we believe uh, I mean not we believe I don't know who believes or, or not but according to logic and common sense that and of course that's what started it this point from here on in common sense and logic it's all there the reason for us um, being in the grave is that there is something to come because if there is nothing to come why would we die <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry <coughs> it's so clear it's so clear I've been wasting my life there is an afterlife why else would we die? <laughs> it's like light. It's like light. And my pet rabbit will be waiting for me. Because he died too. So from, from here, we can uh, think or we can argue uh, ab about one thing that there is something uh, after this world. And uh, let me talk about a few of the punishments which will happen in the grave to the bad people. And those punishments are, <laughs> of course, very fearful. I'm scared already! And uh, the punishment will start from here that two angels will, uh, will come. They will ask you three questions. Not the quiz of death! First is, who is your lord? Allah. Second, what is your religion? Islam. Third, who is this person? And they will show you a face of Prophet Muhammad. But I don't know what Muhammad looked like. Nobody knows what Muhammad looked like. Then the angels will hit you with a hammer. <laughs> This is fear. This is just nerves. <laughs> Between your two ears, mean on your face. Now, from here, um, if you see that those hammers will be of steel, and it will be kind of big and quite heavy. And if you hit your face from your hand, like this, on your face, you feel a little bit of pain. And if you hit hard on the nose or on this part you will feel a lot of pain and think how much hard will they hit you from the hammer they will hit you with so much force that your head will blow in two parts what I'm dead and then my head is going to be split in two I can't face that and then they will join again and they will hit you again and they will keep hitting you for a while and if a person thinks that how much uh, with how much force and velocity will they hit me that hammer that with only one hit my head is gonna break up in two pieces whoa okay then from then there will come snakes <coughs> in the grave and those snakes are not snakes uh, which are found in this world they are snakes which will come from hell snakes Snakes from hell! <laughs> oh, oh. Snakes from hell! Oh, 
god, it's never happened before. This is just fucking priceless. There will be 90 snakes, each snake with 9 heads. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I can get a tear out. Oh, oh, I love you. <laughs> and those snakes are so full of poison that it is said by the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, that if one of those snakes bite the earth, this earth, then till the day of uh, Qiyamah, means till the last day, that uh, the whole earth will never ever uh, bring out any, any greenery. Everything will be rotten and no one will be able to harvest any plants or any trees or something. The earth will be so much poison, will be full of so poison and they will keep biting you. So there's no chance of me recovering at all then, that's what you're saying. The snakes will keep biting you from day to night if you don't pray, if you don't worship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sweating, it's wonderful, this is the best life I've had, but, <laughs> okay, no, <laughs> I know what's coming. Each snake have nine heads, <laughs> and one scorpion, <laughs> and that scorpion is so much poisonous, that um, there is a th this is a true story by the way Are you sure <laughs> all this? and the man went to a graveyard and in the graveyard he saw a grave uh, which was a little bit uh, weak I mean it was not um, you can say hard or firm so he broke the grave and he, he went inside well you would wouldn't you you find a grave that's not particularly well packed down, you're gonna take a look, aren't you? There's a lot of grave robbing that goes on around my way. Inside he saw the a scorpion, a small scorpion, a strange kind of scorpion, and he was stinging the dead body. <laughs> that scorpion uh, came out of, uh, of the uh, grave and he uh, he saw the camel coming he sting the camel and the camel all of, all of a sudden died the scorpion got him with a headshot and then the man came outside he saw the camel is dead he got happy and he kicked the camel with anger and when he kicked the camel his feet till the ankle melted stop that really scared me <laughs> I see in the notes in the sidebar that you say that Darwin converted to Islam. I always wondered about that beard. <laughs>